Hello and welcome back to Gambling in Monaco, where we have had a shaky start, as I have had in my other save. But hopefully, as happens, has happened in my other save, we can turn it around with a few good results, a change in tactic, maybe, and just pick up some good results. So, I'll go straight into tactics and let's say what I've changed. 442, I couldn't seem to get to work any way at all. It just it wasn't working. We kept, we kept on getting dominated. That we just didn't didn't work. <laughs> so I've changed to a four three three, with four at the back, of course, two centre backs and two full backs. Then three in midfield, one ball winning, one roaming 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 <laughs> roaming playmaker, a deep lying playmaker, a winger, and an inside forward with a complete forward as the striker and a control mentality with these instructions. As so. Maybe later on the save I will try and develop the 4 of 2 but at the moment it doesn't seem like it is applicable. So let's go straight into the fixtures. As you can see, we, of course we won the first game of the season as you saw. Then we had a 0-0 draw against Bordeaux. Then we lost against FC Nantes. Of course, Itai Schechter, who used to be an ex-Swansea player who never scored for us, or scored once for us, had to be the scorer twice, one really late on, as you can see we were being dominated, defence didn't play well, it was just poor. And then we went to Lille, who are looks like the leaders, early leaders of Ligue 1, and we lost at home 2-1. Again, bad game, I think they dominated us again. No, it was a bit more even, but they just had a, they, Idrius Goy scored a cracker. Bonnie got his first goal, which was good. And then we kind of turned it back with a draw at Lyon. A 1-1 draw with two early goals in the match. A one the Olympiacos goal did Malabranque. And then Dimitar Berbatov with a penalty to secure the draw. So that has been the fixtures We've been disappointing, as you see, we're 12th in the league, not very good, and we've only five, po five points on the bar board, 10 points off the leaders, but we need to try and crawl back, and my ambition this season is to get into the top six, so it's not going to be hard now, it's, it's going to be harder now, because we've already dropped points, but hopefully we can get back on track, as I have in my other save. So the game that we will be playing today is the Zenit game in the Champions League Cup Group E. We were drawn with, of course, Zenit, Zenit, Real Madrid, and Dortmund. Not a, not an easy group at all. We need to beat Zenit today if we want to have any chance of getting through to the next round of the Champions League or even the Europa League. So let's go. So this is a team I'd be going with. It looks all right to me. Hopefully, my signings will pay off soon. So. Let's summon the team. So who else is playing today? Real Madrid are playing Dortmund at home. So hopefully we can try and get the victory. I'm just going to turn the sound off and turn it to extended. So let's kick off. Oh, we have to do this, don't we? Um, they're playing a 4-3-2-1 with Alex Witzel and Javi Garcia there, and then Hulk, who was very dangerous. Looks like they're playing quite defensive fullbacks. Understandable for a team such as ours. Strangely enough, they're not playing Solomon Rondon, who have I who I have used in this game with a Venezuela save, and he's he's lethal. But they're playing this guy instead of Alexander Kosovovic. He looks all right, but is he as good as Rondon? We'll wait and see. So I let my assistant do that. And I passionately say. Um, go out there and give the fans their money worth. Mm. Not been doing well in this save. So let's go. Tulum. It's Carvalho. Who passes it inside in Nokabur... Kondogbia. Sorry. So it looks like we got early possession, which is exactly what I really wanted. Fiero Carrasco, Carvalho with the goal. I am so happy with that because I thought this was going to be a miserable save. But 
seems like the late last minute tactic change has paid off hopefully and this is not just a blip or oh, this is just a blip so Petrkovic to Carrillo gets tackled oh it's a penalty I didn't see that Danny giving away the penalty just what we wanted Bonnie will step up and take the penalty most likely the mum 10 great penalty taker and he puts it away in Monaco in this night in Monaco now I've been noticing we've got quite small attendances for League One games and I I don't know why I guess it, I guess it's not a very reputable club actually Monaco but I'm kind of surprised oh Petrovic with a header off the line from the striker then it's St. Petersburg striker you know I've always wanted to try doing a Russian save but I'm not sure really because it seems quite hard but I guess they have loads of money. Well, most clubs have money. Well, look at Angie. They had money and then disappeared. <laughs> Carrillo terrorising the defenders here. Can he get a shot on? No. We well, did get shot on, but it was saved by the keeper. Fiera Carrasco with a corner. Comes Nothing comes out of it. By Kayoko with a rubbish pass there. Kondogby is looking a bit tired in the middle. Might have to take him off. Witzel with a shot. Stecklenburg saves. Which is, which is alright. I might just put work ball into box as we Oh, and they have just scored. Alexandri Kosovakov, I think that's how you pronounce it, scores with a header, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Hulk. Yep, good header by them. Not good enough for defending for us. Oh, and Friero Carrasco has a free kick and he scores it. What a free kick. Don't see that. I haven't seen anyone have a free kick in ages. Score a free kick in ages. I don't think I've seen one in my last save. Oh, I do like good, having good free kick takers. Can change games, I can. And they looks like this might actually be a highlight. Hulk with a long shot, but Stecklenburg managed to keep it in his grasp. So it's been an all right so far, an all right game so far. We're not as dominating as I would like to have seen, but I guess we're winning, and that's the good thing. We're dominating on paper, but. Mm. So I um, think I'm going to bring on hmm. uh, ba -ba. Petrovic has been torn apart there So I'm just going to bring on Oh, I didn't bring on anyone to play there Can Echeli Gil Or Kozo Silly me I didn't bring on Right, Raji can play there Never mind. <laughs> um, I think that's the only save that I would like to make. <laughs> Hulk with a free kick. Comes something. Witzel. No, it goes over. So Bonnie again is. He's not doing well in that complete forward role. I think I'm going to have to change it up and put it into a target man. I think that's probably his best role. Hopefully he'll get better there. Carrillo, oh, the header just skimming the post. I'm reckoning. <laughs> Seventy-three minutes in, and it's still three-one. This will be a good victory for us, as Zenit are no mean, not no bad team, and we have been poor. We've had poor league form, so this is a good game. They're just passing it around, but it looks like it's going to be coming to nothing, unless that's a poor clearance. Witzel to Kisarovic to Hulk. Great defending. <laughs> Just to say, concentrate, because they're not really keeping possession, and I, that's something I really want them to do, and I don't know how to stop them from not keeping possession. No, yeah. Wait, am I just... How to tell them to keep possession, because I've done all the things that would. I might say lower tempo, just to see out the game. But they're having lots of highlights here. I don't know what's happened. Witzel, great tackle by Toulon, to Roddick, to Raji, to Carrillo, plays it up to Bonnie, can't find anything, so it seems as just as I put target man on, we haven't had a lot of chances, so even though Bonnie's playing better, the team isn't playing better, so, I don't know, he, he was so good in that complete forward role during pre-season, but I guess, 
just hasn't worked out for him yet in the French League. I mean, it might take a bit of time for him to settle in the team. But I have been doing teamwork. And Hulk scores, but it's offside. The Brazilian Hulk. Just need to chat with Bonnie and say, I mean, he scored a penalty today, but his rating is something to be improved on. I'm kind of sad that Bonnie hasn't hit the ground running that I would have expected, that I would have hoped of. But I guess that's football. So hopefully, I think we shall be getting a 3-1 victory against Zenit St. Petersburg, which is a brilliant victory to stop the rot, you could say. <laughs> and there it is, at the Stade Louis the second, we have got a 3-1 victory. So that is a good result. And everyone's delighted. Hopefully that morale will keep up into our next game against Guignop. So, <coughs> um, I don't know what you want to do. Do you want to see the Champions League games or do you want to see league games? Because I was thinking that I would come back for the second Real Madrid game there or the first, actually the first Real Madrid game there. And then after that, it's up to you whether you want to see league one games or Champions Cup group games. So that is the end of the episode. We have beaten Zenit Peterburg in Group E of the Champions League 3-1 at home. And I have been the Philosopher24. This has been Gambling in Monaco, where I'm taking charge of Monaco FC. And I'm out.